Welcome to Beauty and the Budget. End to a video I didn't know I was going to make. <laughs> um, so it's necessity, I've put it up as necessity extra and the reason I've did it, um, done it is my lovely Susan, the little poet, tagged me in when she did this one um, and it's a lovely tag. It's the, two, it's the New Year 2017 tag and it's seven things I need to tell you. And you've probably seen a few of us do it. And um, Susan asked me, and I could, another one, I could never say no to Susan. <laughs> and it was really great to do it anyway. So um, this is my version of it. And thank you, Susan. She knows I love her. Now, the first one. Rate 2017 on a scale of 1 to 10. Well, I've got to be honest... Not all you see in front of the camera is, I am happy, I'm happy the person you see, but because a lot goes on in between time, and a lot has gone on this year, and some very hard stuff, very hard stuff to deal with, um, that we're coming through, and you know, getting through things together, and with support and everything with our family, but we've had some quite heartbreaking very heartbreaking stuff happened this year, so um, I was glad to see the back of 2016. <laughs> but, um, you know, I've had some lovely things happen as well. I've had you guys and got to know you guys. and But if I had to personally rate it between 1 and 10, I'd probably give it a 3. Because of, you know, some of the things that have been hard to deal with. Um, but yeah, it's not, it wasn't a great year for us guys. Second, favourite memory of 2000, number two, sorry. Favourite memory of 2017. Without doubt when my children turned up, um, just before Christmas, I told you, I was not expecting to see them because of health and because of co work commitments and so forth. It was difficult for us to get to each other. Um, but she made the arrangements um, and she brought the children up and I was so thrilled. It was just before Christmas and they stayed five days and and I was over the moon. I wasn't expecting to see them and that, that was my best Christmas present and my best thought for last year. The question three. Do you change did you change as a person in 2017? And how did being a content creator of YouTube change you? Um, I think I changed in the sense I've never been very confident you know it's something I've talked about with you before I'm not a terribly confident person um, and I, I'm still not oozing with it let me tell you but um, I think I've become more confident to do this um, there's lots of reasons you know that I thought I couldn't. I, I, di I didn't have the confidence. I didn't think it would work for me. I didn't. I just didn't. But um, I really wanted to because my passion for, you know, that and I say it all the time to to the every everyday woman, average everyday woman who may be on a low budget, who may be struggling, and and giving up on herself. It's it's my my passion that I you know tell her she doesn't have to. Um, so that's why I made it. But. That's what drove me to start it, but I didn't think I succeed as I have. Um, and that's all because of you guys. You've just given me that confidence. You've given me confidence to believe in myself. So, yes, I am a, a slightly more confident person now. Oh, in other words, I believe I can. You know, I believe I can do it now. I believe I am capable. Um, and that's changed me a lot. Um, as a person, that's changed me a lot, and as always, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. You know I do. Um, Favourite video I did in 2017 and why? Well, there's lots of different ones that I can sort of pull out that I've liked. Funny ones, I mean, I loved the one when my wig fell off. <laughs> do you remember when I was sitting in the front bedroom? <laughs> By hairpiece. That was funny. I mean, there's different ones that I've done that have been really funny. 
Um, I loved the one where it was my life, it was my story, the one that was started by Cindy. Um, and it, it, telling our life story and bits about ourselves. And a, few, a lot of us mature ladies did it. Uh, it's just called my story. Um, and I love that one because of the response that I got from it. There was a lot of things that I sort of um, opened up about in that that I hadn't said for many years, really. Um, and to have the confidence to say it, uh, and you know, the overwhelming response of kindness and it was just uh, overwhelming for me, the, the kindness. And that, um, that stands out in my mind because of that. But to actually make the videos, probably the collabs. I just love collabing with the girls. Uh, you know, I love making collabs. Um, and the ones I did, I did a week of them before Christmas, you remember. And it was just great. It's great. Um, no, I really, really like that. So I think the collabs. One product that blew you away. One product that blew me away. Well, I would say the couple. Um, one is very, very boring. <laughs> You're going to say blew me away. But it's just coconut oil. I've never really tried coconut oil to this year, to the beginning of this year. Um, I never knew the advantages of it at all. Um, and the other one is rosehip oil. Um, I've just, oils have just become such a big part of my routine now, probably one of the most important parts of my routine. And I never really knew about those, um, really, and the benefits of them. And, and that, I've learnt that really from Susan, from Little Poet. Um, she's taught me a lot about oils. And, um, and my skin has improved. It's improved a lot, really. I mean, like I've said before, I'm never going to be 25 again. But it has improved a lot, and... Um, yeah, I, I'm happy with our things are going with that. So thank you again, Zeus. So who or what influenced you the most in 2017? Um, influences in sense admire. I think it's seeing my daughter. You know when, when you're bringing children up, you, you hope you're doing the right thing. You don't always get it right. You know, we all make mistakes and do it wrong. But we want the best for them, don't we? We want them to be the best people they can be and we try to, to teach them that. And I think to see your daughter become a loving wife, a wonderful mum and... and you know, run her own business and do everything she possibly can to be the, you know, person for her, those around her. She loves them, she's loyal, she's trustworthy. Um, I don't know if the word influence is right, but I'm, I'm very proud of what she's become. Now, I know all us mums say that, I know, and of course you're proud of your children, and I'd be, I'd be proud whatever happened because you love them, don't you? And, you know, their life turns out the way it does and you love them and support them, whatever. But I think she's... I admire her so much. I admire her strength because, you know, she was a scatterbrain of a child. <laughs> she still can be a scatterbrain now. But, and she was growing up. But the woman she's become and what she's she's capable of um you know I, I just i just really admire that really really admire her as a woman um and i'm very very proud of the daughter um but i don't know if the word influence is that she certainly influences me to be a better person <laughs> okay what are you excited about in 2018 Name a goal, um, name a goal, something I'm determined, uh, excited about in 2018. Um, there's lots of things really, um, some I had to keep under wraps for a little while, <laughs> um, but things that I'm certainly very excited about, um, and that's sort of on a family level, personal level. Um, 
and as far as YouTube goes, um, yes, I want to. I want to grow. I want to, you know. I love it. I just love it. I never knew this time last year I would love doing YouTube so much, um, and I want to grow, but I want to help people. I want to encourage people, and. Um, and you know, it influence people and, and, and lovely ladies that you can do it. Come on, let's, let's just do this together. And the mature community has grown and it's so lovely. It's so lovely. And I'd love for women, you know, that feel a bit unsure about themselves. And I'd love to say, you know, come on, come and just come and subscribe to these ladies and you see what they, you know, they make you feel better. So as much influence as I can put out to people, um, you know, to just encouragement. I really want to try and work on encouraging people. Um, so that's my goal, really. Um, and then, choose a, <coughs> sorry, choose a word. Choose a word for 2018. I think determination. Um, I think I'm determined that I can do it. I think I'm determined that I will make a difference, that I will not dwell on things that other people have said in the past that make me undoubt, you know, have doubts on myself. I'm determined to be positive. I'm determined to be the best friend and mother and wife that I can be. Um, and all the small things, I'm determined to be in the best health I can possibly be in. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm not going to be any prima ballerina soon. But, <laughs> but, but I want to be in the best health that I can be in. So yeah, I'm determined to do all those things. So I would say, my word is determined. Um, and what I'd like to know is what your word is. Do you have a specific word? If you could pick one word... For your hopes and your goals for 2018 what would that word be i'd love to know and i'd love you to share it with me if you feel like doing so i would love you to share it with me and the reason why um i as i said i just love this community and i love that we we all share together and you know it's a joy to be part of so thank you susan i've really enjoyed doing that tag hope you've enjoyed me doing it too Popping up again Saturday, unexpected. <laughs> but I will see you again on Tuesday and I will do my empties, I promise. See you Tuesday. You take care. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Bye.